Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now last year, in fact I think it was last year or was it the start of this year? I think it was last year. I made a video all about my favourite black wardrobe staples for the autumn winter seasons and now as an avid lover of black and a constant wearer of black I wanted to do the exact same thing but for this current summer season. Right, so starting off with item number one, which is the black vest minus unattractive deodorant stains. Yes, I have had a slight deodorant mishap here, folks, but you know, we're just keeping it real. So yeah, the black vest, this is by far my most worn black, wardrobe staple in my summer wardrobe altogether. In fact, it's it's probably my most worn summer staple, regardless of color. It is always going to be the black vest. It is just my all time go to. I never ever struggle to style these black vests and I actually have multiple of them because there's only two of us that live in the house. So we don't always do washing that frequently because we have to wait a long time for a load to amass. So therefore I need several options just so that if one of them is in the wash, like this one really needs to go in the wash, then I have others as backup. Now I do have a few different styles as well. So the racer back is always my sort of ultimate fave, if you will, but I have a spaghetti strap black vest as well. And I have one with less curved and less of a racer back vibe, but thicker straps. So I do have, I think about four black vests in total that I have on constant rotation. Now staying with basics is item number two, and it is the basic flip flop. Now flip flops I know aren't for everyone, I am going to very specifically say it should just literally be like rubber, proper like proper flip-flops, not a thong sandal, but actual flip-flops. Now these are from a brand called Sleepers and this is a brand that I would highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a pair of basic flip-flops. They are a more, shall I say, a more responsible flip-flop manufacturer. Another good thing about Sleepers is that there's not like an unnecessary amount of choice in terms of the designs and the styles. So they stick to really basic colors, which I love. And they have three main designs. So these are the slim. They also have the tapered, which I also really like. And I actually have those in a sand color. Very nice, very nice toe shape. And then they have a wider fitting strap as well. Those I haven't personally tried, but I have the slim and the tapered and I firmly give both of those a thumbs up. These are really sturdy, they're really comfortable, excellent all rounder, the sort of thing that you can wear on the beach, you can get them wet, they're breathable obviously because there's not much to them, but I also love that you can kind of pair them with pretty much any outfit if you're kind of wearing a day-to-day -day outfit. So they could be with a pair of tailored trousers, skirt, shorts. I even put these on with a pair of sweatpants if I'm just gonna nip to the shop or nip to the supermarket quickly to go and grab something. They're an easy throw on pair of sandals that are portable, they're lightweight, and they are just an excellent all rounder. Moving on to item number three, and it is the black linen trousers. Now, I know sometimes as I go through the items on my rail, I tend to say each piece is down to personal preference when it comes to fabric, but I've specifically chosen linen rather than just said a pair of black trousers because linen is such an awesome fabric for summer. It's breathable, it's lightweight, it is a natural fiber. It washes well, I personally think. Now, I know that there's a little bit of conflict and there's varying opinions between us on linen and its crease, oh, sorry, on its creaseability. There are some that enjoy and that relish the creases. That's me, I'm in that camp. And there are some that despise the creases. But as I just said, linen is a natural fiber, a natural fabric. It is in the nature of linen that it creases. Literally, you can iron them or steam them and within a couple of minutes, if that, once you've put them on, they will be creased. You must accept the creasing 
and move on. But for me personally, I really like that not so perfect, creasy kind of very effortless look of a pair of worn linen trousers. And I think it's very appropriate for summer. Right, moving on to item number four, which is the black shirt in brackets oversized. And the reason I say oversized, this is definitely gonna be down to personal preference. I love an oversized fitting shirt. I have absolutely no tight fitting or even fitted shirts. I love a masculine fit, something that's oversized, something that's baggier, slouchier, something like this with a dropped, uh, what do you call that? Dropped armpit, if you like. That's just the style that I like. I feel like it fits in very well with my personal style and I just enjoy that aesthetic. But again, versatility, it goes for everything on this rail. I find them incredibly easy to style. With a shirt, as I was saying, because I like that oversized fit, I would wear them over the top of a pair of trousers or I would wear them tucked in. You can tie them, you can leave them open and then wear a vest underneath if you wanted to go for the whole light layers situation. I just think that they are once more a very, very, very core piece of my wardrobe that I find myself reaching for time and time again. Item number five is an accessory and it is the black bag. Now it could be any black bag. It could be more of a summer vibe. So perhaps it could be a canvas or a wicker like a basket bag or a raffia or some other summery fabric or like a woven leather like Dragon Diffusion for example could be more of summer vibes, or it could just be a basic, daily, all year round bag, which is why I have brought down my Celine Sosangle. Now, the black bag is probably something that everyone, all of you guys already have. I'm not saying it has to have any bells and whistles. As you guys know, I like minimal, I like basic, I like not a lot of branding. And because of all those elements tied into one, like this kind of bag, even if it's a tote bag or whatever it may be, I just think that it's a really good option, even for summer. I personally have always generally got at least one element of black within most of my outfits. There might be a few that are just neutrals only, but for the most part, I find that I always have at least one element of black even if it's a bag and that is why I find having a black bag in my arsenal so very handy. Pardon the pun. Right, uh, oh, I'm not very good at remembering my numbers this morning. Uh, item number six, here we go. Right, it is the black dress. So this dress is from Kos and I brought this dress down because it's a really good example. Cause again, I've not said any specific kind of black dress. It's very much left to, to interpretation. I have, I think about five, five or six black dresses in my summer dress collection. And this is just a prime example of what I think is the ideal kind of black dress to go for in terms of versatility and in terms of amount of wear. And it would be something which works equally as well for day as it does for not necessarily an occasion, but maybe perhaps for something more dressier. So it can be dressed up or it can be dressed down. And this is why I brought this dress because it's essentially a t-shirt dress just with a little bit more of a design element to it. And there are so many different kind of t-shirt dresses out there at the moment, whether it be second hand, whether it be from super responsible conscious brands, or whether it be from the high street. There are so many different options. I'm gonna link some of my favorites from all of those categories down below in the description box for you guys if you are looking to get a really good t-shirt dress. Item number seven is more black sandals. And this time it is the not so basic black sandals. Now, again, I'm gonna leave this down to interpretation because not everyone might like the basic flip-flops that I already spoke about, but these of course are my must-haves. So for me, the black flip-flops are an absolute must-have, but then alongside that, I want something that's got a little bit more substance to it. Now it could be a case of you're not a 
fan of chunkier sandals, but for me, I would say, right, I've got the black flip-flops, which are quite sort of barely there. So then as my contrast to that, I would want a pair, and this is like a desert island situation, because as you guys know, I have, oh, I've lost count of the amount of black sandals that I have, but if I had to choose like one of each, I'd have my flip-flops, and then I would have perhaps a chunkier version. So either something like a pair of Berkies or my much loved Chanel dad sandals. And it's just a pair of sandals that has a little bit something more to it. They don't have to be super dressy, but they could be something like this, which just adds a little bit more oomph to an outfit or perhaps a slightly different style. So the Berkies, for example, are slides and they have got the two straps and they've got the footbed and the chunkier sole, etc. Or it could be something that has more straps. There are sort of barely their strappy number, which I have a pair from Massimo Dutti, which I'll pop on screen. It's just a pair of sandals that's a little bit not so basic and just have a little bit more interest to them so that they can add a bit more variation to your outfits. Item number eight is the black t-shirt. Now I'm not gonna waffle on too long about this because essentially everything I said about the black vest applies to the black t-shirt. It's just another option of a top when perhaps you don't necessarily wanna go totally sleeveless but you don't want the full coverage of a black shirt. Now, what I would say for a t-shirt, and this is my personal preference, again, I don't like tight fitting t-shirts. Vests are pretty much one of the only forms of clothing that I like to fit skin tight. T-shirts, I like them big, I like them baggy. I'll go for a men's t-shirt, I will size up by two or three sizes in women's t-shirts. I like them big and baggy and slinky and with a wider fitting sleeve as well. And I will wear them tucked into a pair of tailored trousers. I will wear them with, I haven't got to that yet. I'll wear them with my linen trousers, literally wear them with any form of bottoms, a t-shirt. It's pretty self-explanatory, but a black one. Right, item number nine is unsurprisingly black sunglasses. I say unsurprisingly because if you follow me on Instagram and have done for any amount of years, you will have seen that I wear black sunglasses regardless of the season. It could be snowing outside and I will be wearing sunglasses. I love sunglasses. Uh, they provide protection for the skin around your eyes, which is a big fear of mine that it's gonna go wrinkly and awful. And also I am a bit of a squinter when the sun or if there's bright cloud, I feel like I have quite sensitive eyes. So that is why I always wear sunglasses. There's also a little hint of the style element in there as well. I'm not one of those people that wears them indoors though, but I do like to have them on when I'm outside. Ray-Ban in particular tend to be my go-to. These ones are Ray-Ban round flats and they obviously have a much slimmer frame, but I love this shape on my face. And then the ones that I just had on are the Chunky Celine. They used to be called the Baby Audrey's when it was Celine with the accent over the E back in the Phoebe days, but now they are just called Celine Cat Eyes. But if you wanted to try and find them secondhand, they are called Celine Baby Audrey's and someone might have termed them as that if you can't find them under Celine cat eyes. On to my final item and it is the black midi skirt. Now admittedly this might not have made my list in previous years but this is the Joseph Habitai silk skirt which you guys would have seen, you've probably seen it in several videos but I first showed you guys this in the what's new in my wardrobe video which was back in spring and it was just showing you guys what I'd actually sort of decided to invest in my wardrobe this year and this was one of those things because it was quite expensive. It's actually now in the sale, little tip for you guys. But it is it is one of those things which I don't think I would have featured in previous years, but now I have it, I love it. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be silk. This one obviously is crinkled silk, which I've spoken about before. I love this crinkly kind of finish to it because it gives it a more sort of casual feel and also makes me feel less inclined to be bothered about sitting down and getting it crumpled. 
because it's already crumpled. But yeah, black midi skirt, something I've worn quite a lot recently. Again, I like to pair it with a vest. That's pretty much my go-to with this, but I also like that you can wear it with a shirt. You could tuck in the shirt, tie the shirt at the waist, wear it with a t-shirt, wear it with a jumper, which I actually did earlier on this year. And it also looks really good with chunky sandals if you are that way inclined. Right, that's me done. 10 of my most worn and my most valuable black must-haves wardrobe staples. I'm throwing out all those terms at you guys, but you know what I mean. They're my favorite black summer wardrobe staples. Thank you, as always, from the bottom of my heart for watching, and I will see you guys next time.